AutomationDirect.com sells an incredible selection of motors from a wide range of brands to fit most any application. So you need to buy a motor and have to figure out what horsepower you need. But what is horsepower? The power of a horse? 746 watts? Or the practical definition for sizing a motor is 550 foot-pounds per second. This allows us to convert torque, which we can measure, into horsepower. Torque is just the force times the distance from the pivot point. A quick note on torque, at least the US version. Length and force are often interchanged. It may be shown or said as foot pound or pound foot. In this conveyor example, we'd measure with the maximum load applied. We can measure torque with a torque wrench at the end of a roller shaft, or with some lever attached and a spring scale, or we can measure the force required to move the conveyor. If we use a lever, we would measure the force on the scale and multiply by the length of the lever in feet. If we measure the force of moving the conveyor, we need to multiply that by the radius of the roller in feet. So in all cases, we would measure 50 foot-pounds. Next, if there are any mechanical speed reducers, they must be accounted for. We simply divide the shaft torque by the reduction. So, with this 25 to 1 gearbox, we divide the 50 foot-pounds by 25, which gives us 2 foot-pounds at the gearbox input. Since horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 50 to 52, we can see that with an 1800 RPM motor, we'd need a minimum of 0.685 horsepower, or with a 1200 RPM motor, we'd need 0.457 horsepower. So, if we were using a VFD, we would size the motor at its full speed and allow constant torque to keep the conveyor running at lower speeds. Since typically motor horsepower will decrease as speed decreases, but torque remains the same. So, our conveyor shows we need 0.685 horsepower at 1800 RPM. Keep in mind that we must always round that up to a standard horsepower, so the minimum would be 3 quarter horsepower. I'd probably select one horsepower motor, especially if it is in a hot area, since oversizing the motor will allow it to run cooler. So we head over to the store, pick motors, pick AC motors, select one horsepower, 1800 RPM, and I'll go with 480 volts, and now we can buy the right motor for our application. Automation Direct is providing the products and support you need to make us your common sense way to buy industrial controls. If you need more help picking a motor, please see our tech support options here. We have many other motor videos. Please click here to see them all. And click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming products and solutions.